Oh, yeah! Hey, everybody. Hey, look, here I am. Supersonic, your guy, your least favorite content creator. Once again here with Sonic 1. Easy game. Bop, bop. Easy game. Here we go. Labyrinth Zone. Everyone hates this level. Uh, I really don't. Uh, I actually find it kind of all right. I mean, yeah, it's not fast. Yeah, it's not really 100% Sonic. But you know what? I find it slow pace kind of relaxing sometimes. You know, in the water. Aside from the drowning theme. Drowning theme is kind of still scary and not really... Uh... Hold on, this is kind of loud in my ears. Ah, uh, there we go. Other than that, though... The slowness kind of plays in its favor because I kind of find it just a little bit relaxing when it isn't from, like, the drowning theme. And, you know, sometimes precision platforming is good. We don't sometimes want all speed all the time, you know what I mean? So, it's been a day since we did the, uh, the first Sonic 1 video. Got your guys' feedback. You guys seem to enjoy this so far. So hopefully this can be a recurring thing that I do. Can I even go over there? I don't think I can. I'm not going to try because spike bug is a thing. So yeah, I should be able to do these SS1014 plays a bit more often. Hopefully this won't affect uh, everything wrong with production though. I have gotten like a little bit into same old world. I do have a few like one or two sins written down, but then I kind of wanted to just not get too far into it and just take a break from it. Plus, it's kind of late right now when I started. It's currently, uh, right now, almost 11.15 p.m. as I'm recording this. And I would have recorded this way sooner if I hadn't fallen asleep. Oh god, I almost, I almost just completely died there. <laughs> if I hadn't fallen asleep earlier. So, it's it's me after nap time, so I'm probably going to be even worse at commentary than I already am. I don't know. Some people seem to like my commentary style. What do you guys think? It's more of a rambling, not really talking about the too, the game too much kind of thing. Who knows? People seem to enjoy it. Uh, I might make these videos just a little bit shorter, though. Maybe like 20 minutes instead of 30 minutes, just because... Uh, Trying to render and then upload the, the last part was kind of a pain in my ass because of how long it took. Especially since the final video file for the first part actually came out to be like... Four, four gigabytes, just about? And Handbrake didn't really help bringing it down because it was a 60 frame per second video. So unfortunately, things weren't really helped there. Uh, uh, okay, good to go. So I may have to uh, adjust how long how long this shit is for future parts. F like for this one, it's probably gonna still be about the same length, but it might be also be a little shorter. I don't know because I'm not doing three zones. I'm doing two because Scrap Brain is pretty much the only zone before the final zone. So I'm gonna probably make that its own video. So I'm thinking Sonic One is gonna be oh, it's definitely gonna be like three parts. And then after that, well, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm really only doing Sonic 1 as, like, something quick to get me back into the swing of things. Like I mentioned back in part 1. As you guys know that if you hold down while you're passing the goal here, you actually crash the game. I, of course, wasn't gonna recreate it because I can't save the game. Uh, if I remember, I might show it off in the last part. We'll see. If I had if I had realized I was going to try to do that, I was going to save a state, maybe, and then try it that way. So, who knows? Who knows, dude? I apologize for the inconsistency of uploads, again, because, uh... I said last part that, for some reason, I can't stream. I've pretty much been... Oh, my God. Hello? I've pretty much been spending the most... The majority of, like, this week and some of last week just trying to diagnose what was going on with my internet and I didn't have any luck so that's why there was a lack of content this week that's why there was a lack of everything wrong with this Sunday because I've still been working out how this new computer works when it comes to recording things right and when it comes to playing games that don't have anything to do with the internet it's oh Jesus Christ it's still it's completely fine it's just that the instant I try to start streaming is when things get uh Things get messy, 
and I don't like it, but hey, it's fine, because you know something? Even though I can't stream, I'd still take this computer over my old computer, just because of how much faster it is. Seriously, just the general speed of my old computer was something I never want to fucking go back to. So I'll take this computer any day, because when it isn't for live streaming, it works completely fine otherwise. And I love it. I love this so far. Jesus. Give me that invinci- whoa. Give me that invincibility, dude. So yeah, it's pretty much been my week. It's great. Awesome. Wonderful. Good shit. I've also been checking around the channel a little bit lately. And, uh... Wow, some videos have grown a lot more than I thought they did. Uh, last time I checked, uh... I think it was everything wrong with Attack the Light. There was, like... I think, like, 60,000 views on it. Maybe 40,000. I don't quite remember. I just checked like maybe three hours ago and it was already past a hundred thousand views and i'm just like what when did that shit happen you know oh, hold on yeah, there we go it just kind of passed a hundred thousand views under my nose and i didn't even realize it like seriously where have i been right i've been too involved in schoolwork land to even really notice uh, did the drowning music just start to play? Nice. Didn't have to hear that shit. Alright, I guess we're gonna get another chance to try the special stage out. Even though I don't really like the special stages, I still like to at least try them. Also, test the bitrate out a bit. I noticed that, uh, the last video, I was actually, uh, uh, a bit ridiculous. <laughs> I was actually disproven on a point that I said. I said that the video would probably look a little darker than usual. Uh, I was proven completely wrong because the video actually looked very normal, so... I don't know what the hell that test recording did, but... We're back to normal now. I also changed some settings around. The video might look a little worse compared to part one, but hopefully there won't be as many lag frames as there were, like, at least at the beginning of the video. Although I am also taking precautions to, like reduce the lag that ha that I think most of the lag happened at like the start of the video and didn't really happen like at any other point so I think it was just like when OBS was starting up so who knows what who knows what was going on there but I hope I I think I figured it out I hope I have at least if not then there's there's going to be some lag at the start of these videos what I might do is I might just whenever I start one of these I might just leave, like, a minute of dead space before I try to, like, start recording things. Just so that I can, like, cut out that lag later. <gasps> Fuck, excuse me. Just so that I can try to cut out some of that lag later. Ooh, okay, hold on. Yeah. I got no rings. I gotta actually kind of concentrate here. Because I don't know where the next set of rings are. Where are they, Sonic Team? Sonic Team, where's my rings, Sonic Team? <laughs> oh, they're not gonna give me rings for a hot minute now, are they? They're like, fuck you, dickhead. You don't get your stupid red! God damn it! Come on. I have one life left. Cool. It's not like it's gonna matter, because I have level select code if I fuck up, but it'll kind of suck because uh, I'll lose my score. I would also lose any Chaos Emeralds I had, if I HAD one, but it's fine. I don't have any, but you know what, that's cool. Who likes special stages anyway? Special stages are very, very, very homosexual, if you catch my drift. Oh, are we here? Okay, no, there's rings up here. Did you know that a lot of the special stages in Sonic games kind of suck ass? The only ones that I know of that suck considerably less ass than the other ones is Sonic Rush. Maybe Sonic Mania if you catch me on a good day. But any other special stage you throw at me is just gonna be like, Uh-uh, no sir, I don't wanna play that. Because either the controls suck, the concept sucks, or it's just fucking boring. I mean, don't get me wrong, Blue, Blue Sphere's okay and all, but it gets a little boring after a while. You know, especially after we seem to see it, 
so many times. Nah, we don't see I we don't see Blue Sphere anywhere near as much as we see things like the half pipe. Thank God they scrapped the half pipe, because they kinda just wanted to suck the half pipe's dick for a while, you catch my drift. Uh the only, again, the only Sonic game that seemed to get the halfpipe right was Sonic Rush because of its touchscreen controls. I love that. I love those special stages, the Sonic Rush ones, because it felt like I could actually do them consistently. Any other special stage, it's just like, I don't know, sometimes I can do it right, sometimes I can't. And Sonic 1 is like the epitome of that because I swear the special stages in this are so luck-based, there's no skill to them. You can jump the exact same way five times in a row, and I swear, each and every single time you try, it'll be a different outcome. Okay, I think that counted. If there's- if there's some credit I can give the, uh, Sonic 2 special stages, despite the fact that I sorry if that kinda hit against the mic- despite the fact that I hate them more, at the very least, you know how you're going to be able to control it. You know for a fact, hey, if you go right, you're gonna go right a specific amount as long as you hold that right button for a specific amount of time. If you get used to the control, you can at the very least tell where you're gonna be going and where Sonic and Tails are gonna go. In this game, it don't matter how you jump, it don't matter the direction you jump, it just don't fucking matter. You will go a random, random, like, direction at a random speed, random amount of time. It's, it's awful. And while Sonic 2's special stages, in my opinion, are arguably worse because they're more convoluted and more based in trial and error, which is just a thing a franchise, this franchise, franchise, I, excuse me, just loves to do for some reason. It's just root things in trial and error bullshit design. Despite the fact that I love this series, it has that problem all the time. And it's just like... Guys, stop it. I get there's some kind of intrinsic value in getting things right eventually. But the hardest sad truth is... Is that most of the time... It's just frustrating. Trial and error design. This is exactly why I don't like really enjoy games like Sonic Unleashed because I tried to if you guys saw my stream on Sonic Unleashed you saw that that was my bl first blind playthrough of that game I couldn't fucking stand the daytime stages because of the shit they pulled and it's it's awful this is a cool part if you fall down here the only way to get the platforms back down is if you hold the down button but the game never tells you that so you pretty much have to drown it, you're pretty much left down there to drown because you don't know this information. It's pretty great. Also, uh, where's boss in the game coming up here? Watch this, right? It's Eggman running away like a little baby bitch. He's not the boss, oh no. It's the 15 quadrillion different obstacles he puts in the pathway. And I have one life, so I have one chance to get this right. And if not, then I'm doing the whole stage over again. Okay, here's what's gonna happen, because I'm not starting the entire stage over again. I'm gonna be a little cheater and save a state. Because I can tell you right now, I do not want to have to restart this entire stage over again. Just because this goddamn gauntlet. Ooh, I'm, okay, I'm actually doing somewhat decently. Okay, the end's right there. Okay, I didn't even need to save a state. But I was just making absolutely sure. Okay. I was just making absolutely sure in case I did have to start it over. I was hoping I didn't have to, but I knew I was probably gonna have to. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Starlight zone. Pretty neato zone right here. Also the last one we're doing for this part. So the first part is again gonna be- or not again, but like, it's gonna be the longest part in the series. Quote unquote, series. Wait a minute. I have an idea on how to get that life. Despawn the platform. A, a. Look at me. I'm smart. I know vid. I know vidgy games. I know how Sonic One works. Look at me. I'm a technical wizard. For years, I actually didn't know how to get that one up. 
and I was just like, okay, the platform covers it. How am I supposed to get it? And now I figured it out, and it's like, woof. I know how video games work now. So, yeah. Once again, have not fucking asshole. See, I was moving very slowly. And then the game still surprise motherfuckered me out of nowhere. That's a phrase Exa Paradigm Gamer used. Surprise, motherfucker! You surprise motherfucker you out of nowhere. That's what the classic Sonic games love to do, especially... Or not especially, but, uh... Even Sonic Mania, as good as that game is, and as much as it's my favorite in the classic series... Yes, Sonic Mania is part of the classic series. I don't care. It still pulls some bullshit, too. Bullshit that I'm not very fond of. Let's discuss Oil Ocean and how much it sucks in Sonic Mania. Because, oh man, ass suckage. We'll discuss it later, but hey, just saying, just putting it out there. I like the, so the modern Sonic games so Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I love the uh, modern Sonic games so much more than classic Sonic. Because at least with, with modern Sonic, you could see where you're going at all fucking times. Just saying, just putting it out there. I might also, uh, while I'm at it, since I'm already staying up late, I might wanna, uh, just record the last part of this as well. Just have it, like, be a, be a two-in-one deal, and then tomorrow I can start on Sonic, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do the Master System games, or if I'm going to do the, uh, just jump straight into Sonic 2. Hey, you guys should decide! Hey, I can leave that up to a poll. The next Sonic game that I do, even though the next SS 1014 plays may not be a Sonic game, we'll figure that part out. When I do, when or if I do the next Sonic game, do you want it to just be flat out Sonic 2, or do you want me to do the 8-bit uh, ones? I guess I could put that to a poll in the comments. Comment down below what you want to see next. <laughs> I'm just turning into a generic YouTuber the more I continue YouTubing. YouTubing is now a verb. Get with the program. Fucking come on. There we go. I apologize if there's dead space in the commentary. Oh my lord. At least they thought to put pl fucking platforms down here. At the very least, I thought I was dead. But I wasn't. Cause look, the game actually designed things well this time. Would you look at that? Oh, look at that, we're done. Excellent. Love it. I might not also want to stick with classic Sonic, I might want to jump ahead to a modern Sonic game. Really, I don't know if I'm gonna do all these in like any specific order, I might just be, again, jumping around. So I guess we'll- Fucking asshole! I guess we'll just figure it out, huh? Wow, that's totally how that was supposed to go. Why did they put these spike guys in the most inconvenient spot imaginable? Like, holy fuck. There we go. Like, you hold right, and then the where, they put it, like, immediately where you're going to land. And it's great, because you, don't, you can't see where you're going. <laughs> so you just hold right, thinking, oh, I'll be fine! And then you're not fine. And then the game shoves its dick up your ass. Ah, uh, don't you just hate it when that happens? When a game just shoves their dick up your ass. I hate it when that happens. Happens all the time. A uh, Supersonic, is there something you want to talk about? Has the video game... Show me on the doll where the video game touched you. Oh. Uh, see? Up the ass! That's where- that's how Sonic- You see how Sonic just fell there? He took that shit directly up the ass. Can't make that shit up. Exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. So I'm not making it up. I'm not crazy. Okay, so that just led me to completely nowhere except back the way I can- I love Sonic. Classic Sonic is... Oh, guy! Classic Sonic is the only good Sonic game, guy! 
classic Meyer Sonic sucks because it's not very well designed at all. Look at me. Mr. Run into everything all the fucking time. Christ, I don't understand how these guys can like classic Sonic just as much. Or not even just as much. Way better than a lot of modern Sonic games. I just, I, I just can't understand it. Whatever you guys see, can you please inject some of it into me? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like them. But they're fucking bullshit designs sometimes. And I've only ever seen Exodent Paradigm Gamer po point it out. Everyone else is just dick suck fest. I don't get it. Help me understand. Please. Alright, well that's... And part two. Pretty nice, isn't it? So, we're gonna pause this. And we'll get into this next time. I hope you guys enjoyed part two of Sonic 1 playthrough. It's great. Uh, we're gonna finish this up in the next part. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. This was Super Sonic 1014. I will see you guys later. Bye.